A heated race is set in Lincoln. Incumbent Mayor Lyrian Gaylord Baird takes on challenger Suzanne Geist in the general election May 2nd. Geist, who finished second in the primary on Tuesday, resigned her legislative seat to concentrate on the race. Governor Jim Pillen quickly announced Lincoln attorney Carolyn Bozin to fill Geist's seat in the 25th legislative district. KETV News Watch 7's Zeta Rozaki reports what both candidates are saying heading into the final month of campaigns. Republicans in Lincoln say they are now unified behind now former state Senator Suzanne Geis in her quest for mayor. Fellow Republican Stan Parker, who finished third in the unofficially nonpartisan contest, vowing his support. We're going to win this race, and we're going to do it because we're all, all in. Here is the reason for their optimism. Larry and Gaylor Baird finished first with 49% of the vote. But if you add up Geis and Parker's totals, Geis would have won by 232 votes. It is going to be a very competitive race, uh, but I believe we have the numbers on our side, and we're going to turn out our voters, and we're going to win this race. Gaylor Baird says her opponent resigning from the legislature won't change how she will campaign. That's her call to make. I'm focused on doing my job as mayor to deliver on city priorities to make sure we continue to be safe, deliver on the infrastructure like our streets and sidewalks. Gaylor Baird calling out Geist votes in the legislature to break filibusters that help advance a ban on gender altering care for minors and a bill that would allow for permitless concealed carry and strip away local ordinances. The priorities that she has lifted up in the legislature speak about her values and priorities which are not the ones that are the focus and priorities of the people of Lincoln. Guy says she had questions about the gun bill and did not vote on the bill itself. I stand by those things, but the things that are important about city business are not political. Those things aren't a social agenda. They're, they are public safety, good streets, and making business easy to do here in the city of Lincoln. Both candidates urging supporters to turn out to the polls. Everything's at stake. The future of Lincoln and the continued trajectory towards an even better, brighter future. A new course for this city is exactly what this city needs. In Lincoln, Andrew Ozaki, KETV, News Watch 7. Gaylor Baird holds the highest office for a Democrat in the state. Lincoln has not elected a Republican mayor since Mike Johans in 1995.